going to show you how to make this COVID-19 mask that was developed by Rose Hedges. She is the Nursing Research Innovation Coordinator at St. Luke's Hospital in Clayton Skousend. If you would like more information about these masks and how they developed these masks, you can click the link below that I have in the description. There you will find details on how this mask particularly works. Also, you'll have the pattern where you can download it. Once you have your pattern downloaded, you can cut it out and begin making one of these masks. The uniqueness about this particular mask is it doesn't have any elastics. This one has shoelaces, and I'm going to show you how to sew it. Okay, so um, with elastic being very scarce, I have thought of creative ideas to use um, something else for masks. So this is an idea, shoelace. So um, one thing to remember is there's this uh, uh, plastic thing that's around the shoelaces. If that were to come off, this would all unravel. So a good secret way to do that is to use tape. One mask here and then another mask here. So, we have plastic ends on these shoelaces here and um, I'm going to cut the ends in half. So, First, I'm going to line these up, and then this is my halfway point. So I'm going to take my tape and wrap the center and tape. If you don't wrap the center and tape, it's going to unravel the shoelace. So. Um, that's what I've done there. Now I'm going to take my scissors. I would not use sewing scissors. I use my regular everyday scissors. And you're going to cut the center like that. If I were to take this tape off, these would unravel right, right then and there. And obviously tape is not a good secure way of keeping something together. So um, another what another thing that I use is I um, seal it with a lighter. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my lighter and I'm going to seal it, and it'll melt to the fabric. There you go. All right, and see how it's see how that's all melted together. When I take that tape off. And I would wait until it, it's almost dry before doing, but when I take that tape off, it will um, be all together. I'm going to do the same for this one. Careful not to burn yourself while doing this. That one had the tape run off a little bit, but you can see the how it's fused together. So I am hoping that the shoelaces will work since I am all out of elastic. So I have one mask and two masks. So I'm going to do um, a couple more of these and then I will show you how to put the mask together.
out, uh, we can put them together. Here's the front part of the mask, black. And we're going to do two of these today. So make sure the right side of the fabric is on the inside. I'm going to line these up. lawn across the way. <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that on the video. Um, so we have it together. Here we go. That's going to be the front of the mask. Now this, what I like to do is put the seams down and sew the seams down. Um, I have a serger. I could use a serger. Not everybody has a serger. So um, I thought in this video it would be kind of nice to show how you can reinforce a seam without um, having a serger. So what you do is you fold these down. I recommend getting an iron if uh, that might make it easier for you. I, my iron's not heated up right now, so I'm just going to do it this way. Makes it a, a little more difficult, but that's all right. I, can, I, I think I got it. What we do is sew them down. You want to pay careful attention to making sure that the fabric is flat as possible with your fingers and go don't hurry it, you know, just take your time. All right, there's the top of your masks. Now let's get on to the next pieces and sew those up too. We just line those together and start sewing. cheeks kind of just go end on end and my mouse my pad here okay now I make two hem strips so that you know these masks are going to be um, washed quite a bit so I want to make sure that they are going to last long. So I make two. First I'm going to go through all of them once. 
I want to say that you don't want to um, sew the wrong side. You want to sew the larger side on this side. You want to sew that side over just a little bit. If you need to use needles, uh, go ahead. Um, I'm not using needles here. We now have this part that goes on the inside of your mouth right here. This side here is also going to be hemmed down just like these. So I'm going to also do these twice. I am done with all of my pieces. I wanted to mention that I also sewed down the hemline on the inside. Uh, it makes it much easier and more sturdy for the mouthpiece. Um, if you need to iron, uh, go, go ahead and do that if that makes it easier for you. I just happen to not do the iron. So now that these pieces are done, let's put them together. Okay, so now we have our mouthpiece and I'm going to show you how to line this up. So first, we're going to take our mouthpiece now, um, the way you can tell it's right side up is the curve, see that curve? That curve is towards the top. That's going to be part for your nose, so that's going up on the top there. So, we lay that down, and then we're going to take these pieces here, one on either side, and we're going to match them the line up. Side there, one side here, <clears throat> see how they line up, the line here, that's how you know you're in the right, that's how you know where to place your needle to keep them in place. Pin them in place, and I'll lose our spot. And there we go. And we'll do one more. The curve at the top. I made one black one on this side. And I made cream on this side. Wanted them to match. I was all out of the gingerbread. This is the last piece of my gingerbread and I had to improvise. Running down low on my supplies here. So that looks about even, right? Let's see. Not quite up there. Okay. So we have it laying even as you right there. So we'll pin it in place. And we'll pin it in place. Okay, on to the next step.
Okay, the next step, here's our masks. I made these earlier. These are um, going to be for a friend of mine. Her name is uh, Latanya Hawkins. Let's give a shout out to Latanya Hawkins. Your masks are on the way, my dear. She is a author of, um, I think is it uh, Reverse Harem? Tell me in the comments whether that's true or not. I'll uh, leave a link down below in the description for um, her books if you're interested. She writes paranormal reverse harem romance. Okay, so now we have our front and we have our back. <clears throat> what we want to do is take the seam side of the front of this and the seam side in front of that and line them up. There we go. And then we line them up for this. this one. And we do that to all four of them. Those are together. I'm going to pin them all the way around so that everything matches and then I'll meet you back at the sewing machine. So here we have our masks um, and I'll take one of them. Uh, let's take the black one since that's the one we've been using, working on all day. And Let's get started. I'm only sewing a quarter inch seam. You don't want to go much bigger than that. In the past, you would put the elastic in here and then sew over the corner and then go to the other side. But since we're working with shoelaces this time, um, we're not using elastic. We're just going to continue around the, the corner here. See how I did, huh? Pull this inside. Oh, that was the other thing I almost forgot. You want to cut these corners off. If you don't cut the corners off, it'll make it um, it'll make it bulky. So you don't want to cut where the threads at there, but just cut the corners off a little bit on each, on all four ends. And I think I'll cut this off here, make that an even edge, and probably that side too. Okay. So, 
Let's pull these inside out. It's a mask! Yay! There we go. There's the front. And there's the back. Now I'm going to do another little step here. And that is, I'm going to top stitch all the way around this whole mask. I think what I'm going to do is iron this first. Ironing is done and I went ahead and I um, got the rest of my masks done as well while I was waiting for the iron to heat up. So we're going to top, top stitch this and actually I'm going to do it from this side that way I can keep it, um, a tab on making sure that I don't ravel the pocket on the inside here. All right, now we are ready for the shoelaces. Okay, I have shoelaces and I have the mask. Take our shoelaces, line them up, find that center, place that in the middle, about half an inch from the seam fold over and pin. I'm going to do this to all four. So I've sewn across here, now I'm going to turn my fabric and I'm going to go over the shoelace because I want to reinforce it and keep it in place. I don't want it moving. And I'm going to backspace. And then I'm going to do the other side. Just makes it that much more durable. And I'm trying to go over that previous seam that's on there.
masks. There we go. You did it. If you liked this video, click the like button over here. And if you'd like to subscribe to my channel, click the subscribe button over here. And the little bell right next to it, it'll notify you the next time I send videos out. Until next time, bye!